Hi guys, it's Mo. I'm going to be filming today without Keisha. Uh, she's on vacation, but like over there. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so the first one that I have, it's an update. It's from the young lady who has a toxic friend that um, she's been in a friendship with for seven years, who's recently divorced, who dates just about anybody and is trying to push her views on her. Uh, she dates guys at gas stations. Hopefully they have crispy crunchies in there. <laughs> what she said there? Like if there's something wrong with dudes at gas stations? I mean, niggas need gas. What? <sighs> Anywho. Okay, it says update. Where am I so happy? Hello, Keisha and Mo. I watched the video and you both were uncertain on if I've had conversations with her. I also believe some of the commenters have misconstrued what I've said referring to me as overbearing and that I have issues within myself, which I don't. I've had several conversations with her in the past, which led to her becoming defensive about forcing her views on me. After listening to your advice, I've decided to leave the friendship where it, it's at sunken in the ocean. I believe God has provided several signs that the friendship needed to end, but I ignored all the signs. Keisha, you're absolutely right. Just because someone claps for you at graduation doesn't mean they'll be rooting for you for a lifetime. And Mo, you're also right about my tone in the email. I came off as combative. I've prayed to God for forgiveness and I've released all anger I've had towards this situation. Um, I don't have any comments about that. Um, we are... Uh, some of our way to plan it and shit is in line. Everybody's coming to these completions and they're ending relationships that no longer serve them. So if that's the way that you feel, that's the way that you feel. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a question. This is actually a question, not an update. Hey, Mo. Hey, Keisha. This question is for mature audiences only. I have been dating this gentleman for six months now. I like him a lot, and I know he feels the same about me. He is so sweet, caring, and faithful. We have a great sex life. However, he leaves me feeling frustrated because, because he does not come. I have talked to him about it, and it goes nowhere. My question is, should I dump a great guy because of my feeling sexually frustrated? I've dated my share of frogs whom were mind blowers in bed, but great assholes. Am I being shallow? By the way, we are both 35 year, year, years old. No kids now. However, I do want kids in the nearest future. So confused. It's hard out here. Um, uh, I, it's erectile dysfunction. He is 35. I don't know. Maybe he need to go to the doctor. Maybe he need to go to the doctor. Maybe like, y'all just can't finish. Because maybe he's not sexually attracted to you. And why do you consider him to be faithful if y'all dating? Y'all dating. I'm about I was about to go somewhere else with this because I feel like um you have all you have expectations. And I know you didn't ask me, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. You have these expectations. Um, because you said something about him being faithful. You saying the sex is great. How do you know the sex is great to him? It might just be great to you. Men. Just like we can pretend, they can pretend to. Um, I don't know, girl. He might have erectile dysfunction. He could have, uh, he could be on some type of medication that's causing him to not come. Can she ask him? Yeah, communication is key. I keep telling y'all that. Ask him why he don't come. And what is it about you that's so... What did you just say? She said, I have talked to him about it and it goes nowhere. Oh. That's weird. That is pretty weird. Like, because he obviously gets home and he just don't finish. And he won't give you an explanation as to why? You need to find out what it is. I think that, now hear me out. <laughs> it, it might be something. No, you ain't got to Google it. Because maybe he into something that's going to make him come, but he don't want nobody Ooh! to know. Did you watch Vita this week? I did not. I ain't watched it in. Oh, Vita's great. But anywho, on this past week episode, she was fucking a dude and. But she don't want to be. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but on. no, she just made me think of something. The girl was fucking a dude. They both were beautiful people. And she was like, why aren't you finishing? He was just like, 
this is good, but this is not what I like to get into. Lo and behold, next time they fuck, we see her pegging him. He likes to get fucking ass. That's how he finishes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he probably likes something that y'all ain't doing and he don't know how to ask you to give it to him. Yup. Now I'm shutting up. <laughs> but thank you for completing it. Because that could very well be the case. So ask him, do he want some of his ass or not? And if you okay with putting it there, then go on for it. Just put a flag down, girl. Put a flag down. <laughs> I'm joking. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, shit, because you, mm -hmm. you just said something about your new confidence yet. <laughs> um, damn, where am I? These updates, y'all. I'm so confused. Okay. I did that one. This is a new question and an update. How many do I need? This needs to be the last one for this video. Oh, what's the Six minutes and... No, okay. Uh, a new question update. Lesbian with a side of dick. You just a greedy woman. And I know who you are, too. Um... It says, Dear Keisha, I'm joking. I don't be judging y'all for it. It's just me playing around. <laughs> no, I don't do what you want to do. Hop on a dick and eat on the coochie at the same time. <laughs> this is what you want to do. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But that floats your damn boat. Uh, okay, Dear Keisha, Mo, I live for this segment, and I really love the both of y'all and the advice you guys give. I have been a supporter since 2016. Let me just say that I have wanted to write in and give you guys an update on several different occasions, but my life has been so MF and crazy that I haven't had the opportunity. But let me start by saying that I'm still bisexual and still very much into women. I'm 23 now, actually just turned on May 16th. Happy belated birthday. Uh, so you guys, after my last entry I wrote, um, my life took a turn. Laugh out loud, so much has happened. Well, let me try to make this long story short and catch you all of it as best as I can. So my event planning service is flourishing. Praise God. I think you tried to work with me before, but I think I was having a bad day. So please forgive me in advance. Uh, I had a beautiful baby boy who just turned one this past May 21st, 2019, and I'm engaged and also out here living my best whole life. Let me stop right now <laughs> because the other night, now y'all know I don't do tarot cards, but I get intuitive messages. And the other night I woke up, I was sleeping at the end of my bed and I woke up, you know how uh, Spectrum have the little thing? Somebody set my time to military time. And I woke up and this shit said 304. So I know that was for you. <laughs> I knew this question was coming. I'm not calling you a hoe. I'm just saying Spectrum got a message. <laughs> 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 I'm talking, girl. Kind of. Uh, oh, so, okay. So just let me explain. Who child? Let me try to explain. So maybe like a month or two after I wrote to y'all, this guy who had been trying to get with me for years had hit me up. We started conversing and decided to start dating. Well, we were where we started dating, growing attached to each other, moved in together, and then within three months of us living together, and what do you know? I'm pregnant. Also, he has another baby mama who was who was before me. So of course, I was stepmother and an instant mom once we got together. So, of course, like any relationship, we started off great, but maybe nine months in the bullshit, nine months in the bullshit starts. Uh, so, when I was eight months, I found out he was still fucking with his baby mom. I don't know if they actually had sex, but there was text messages of him talking to her like he wanted her back. And also, I found he was messing other, messing with other girls, messaging, messaging other girls as well. Um, I was hurt to the core because let me tell tell you from the moment we got together I was treating him like he was my damn husband I know that's where I fucked up but I was taking care of his daughter which at the time she was still a baby cooking cleaning no going out no girlfriends just no life at all I was just an instant housewife honestly the only good thing is that I didn't have to worry about bills rent etc but I have always held my own so that didn't really matter much to me because with or without him I'd be fine well, anyway, we went through our emotions. Uh, I left numerous times, which always led to him begging me back. He proposed to me the first time I left, which was right after I had our baby, and I accepted. But, of course, niggas ain't shit. So, it wasn't long before I found messages again, and we went through the same old bullcorn. To make this, I have never heard of that, by the way. 
bull corn, have you heard it? To make this long story shorter, we went through these motions almost all of 2018. Well, the top of 2019, he decided to finally be serious, or so he claims. He upgraded my ring. Ain't that what they always do? Bought me a new car, always taking me out, giving me all the passwords. I'm just like, thanks, but no thanks. The problem is I'm over that shit now. Now that I have my body back, I've been out a few times with my cousins, and I've been mingling with guys and girls. Nothing was ever sexual until one night I met this guy from the club. Let's call him Louisiana because that's what I call him. I think I know this nigga. Nah, he's 30 on me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, them country boys be tall. Anyway, <clears throat> that was so besides the point. Oh my God, y'all. I'm so physically attracted to him. It makes no sense. So he's 30 and we've been out a few times. Every time we link up, he spends a lot of cash on me, buys me gifts. He is so easy and fun to talk to, and I love how he seems to genuinely care about me. But where I fucked up is I started fucking him. I don't know if this nigga does voodoo or what, but this motherfucker has the best pain I ever had in my young life, and he has me all the way open. I have tried to stop fucking him, but when he calls or texts me, why does shit keep popping up? Phone still ass mom. Okay. When he calls or texts me, I'm doing 90 miles per hour in the 60. I have been lying to you, better stop, especially on 70. I have been lying to my fiance because I have been staying out at hotels for Louisiana and all. I really don't know why I got so attached to him, but I just am. Like, I'm still conversing with other guys, girls, but not on the level that I am with him. So basically, I'm now stuck between staying with my fiance because we have history, or should I give this new thing a try, or should I just have Louisiana as a side dude for a little while? I know. I know I have been giving my fiance the blues. He's called me talking to Louisiana and went damn near fucking berserk. He's been begging me to stay and, get, and to give us a real chance. He actually shed tears. There's, it's not really hard to do. Um, <clears throat> I lied and told him I wasn't fucking the guy. It's crazy because even though my fiance has been pouring his heart out to me and doing everything I wanted from the beginning, I don't feel that bad about what I'm doing. I feel like he deserves this for the shit he took me through for damn near two years. I just want to have a little fun and keep fucking this Louisiana guy until I get tired. I mean, I'm only 23. I have my whole life to be tied down and married. It's when I'm doing really that bad. I'm apprehensive because I know how older guys think they can take advantage of younger women. And I don't want to take start taking him serious and look stupid. I just want to have my little fun. Also, me and my fiance are the same age. He'll be 23 in August. So I figure we should live a little while. Should live a little while we're young. This was so long. <laughs> Shit. Oh. I need my ass my pump. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what to do. Okay, first of all, let me go back to the top. Way back at the top. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Stop bringing up all the shit that you do for men. Because at the end of the day, and I had to go through this myself. Didn't nobody ask you to do that shit? You did that on your own. Didn't nobody ask you to come in and play stepmama? So now you feel like you done put in all this work and made this huge investment into this relationship and you didn't get what you wanted back. Then you continuously want to, once you figured, once you found out that he was still fucking his baby mom, you continuously fuck with him. Did you have a baby after that? Something? You continue to fuck with him. It's still your fiance. After you found out he was still fucking his baby mom. And if both of y'all got a baby, now obviously she know she don't give a fuck about you either. It's just like he got this polygamous ass relationship going on between all uh, three of y'all and you talking about what he can do. Y'all got to leave that materialistic shit alone. If you could handle your own, if you didn't care nothing about it, she wouldn't bring it up. Period. Stop it. I ain't judging you. If, that's what, if you like money, if you like for a nigga to take care of you, don't discount it. Say, this nigga take care of me, that's what the fuck I like and what. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what the fuck you like. Because there's a lot of niggas that like to do that type of shit. So if that's for y'all, then go, don't try to say like, oh, but I got myself. If you ain't got yourself, you need a motherfucker to pay your bills. That's your business. You ain't got to uh, explain it to nobody. You don't need validation for a motherfucker paying your bills if that's what you like. Or are you a hoe? That's not for me to judge. Or are you a hoe? Do you feel like a hoe? If you ask the question, then maybe you are. I don't know. I don't know who taught you what a hoe is. What is a hoe? To me, it's a garden tool. Do what you do, girl. Wrap it up in plastic. <gasps> <laughs> I'm just saying. And what else? Okay, so as far as that, that man know that you fucking that dude. That's why he over there crying. And it, it ain't even him crying. It's really his ego. It's just like, because I know who, I mean, I know who you are. So I know that you, like, he probably feels, you super pretty girl. 
Like, you don't want nobody else fucking with you. I know how niggas are. <laughs> this is hilarious. You Okay, so the other guy, the 30-year-old, uh, he took you out a few times. Um, don't get so excited about that. Um, the shit that you impressed by now, you probably, like, when you 30 years old, you're going to be like, what the fuck was I thinking about? It, I mean, like, he's really not doing nothing for you. He's doing enough to get more panties out of your ass. That's pretty much all that is. Um, and then you bring him up, like, should I leave my fiancé for this other dude? Like, it's an option. Have you even discussed what the terms of y'all relationship is? Y'all relationship is built on the foundation of having sex. Woo, 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 woo. Means nothing. He can go get ass from anybody. Anybody that need a sandwich, anybody that need a <laughs> ride. I mean, like, seriously. Um, Value yourself more than that. Um, I personally, this is just me, as far as the fiance, I would cut that shit loose. If you want to deal with this other guy, then deal with it. Just don't have no expectations of it. I don't think that it's that serious of a thing. And the fact that you've started something with him while you do have a fiance, that's questionable because he's a he probably looking at it like, shit, she don't have a fiance. I ain't got shit coming. So, that's up to you. As far as, uh, as far as, like, uh, your fiance, y'all need to have a serious talk and decide to, I'm not telling you to leave him, but if y'all gonna be together, y'all need some, y'all need some work. Y'all young as shit, but if y'all, I'm not telling you what to do, but if y'all gonna be together, y'all need some work. You can't be out here sleeping around on him because he slept around on you. Thing is not, stop being vindictive. That shit is cheap. Get yourself together so that you can be right for the next person. Y'all hurting each other. So that when y'all, if y'all do split ways, y'all gonna have trust issues. You're gonna get these people that's coming. I don't know what you're gonna attract, but you could very well get somebody that's right for you. You can get somebody that's right for him and y'all ain't gonna know how to treat them people because y'all been so fucked up to each other. And trust me, this is some healing that you wanna do because you got a child with this person. So if you're gonna split ways with this man, split ways with this man. And uh, talk to him and, uh, and both of y'all heal and be um, supportive to one another because you do have a kid with him. And you don't want this motherfucker being bitter because you don't want him being a fucked up person to whoever he end up with because that person going to be in your child life. You have anything about that? I just think that it's all a hot ass ghetto mess and all that sleeping around and shit is it's cute until one of y'all ass or burning. Like, I don't understand why this new generation, not even new generation, but just People in general take sex so casually. Like, I, I I was dumb, young, you know, I didn't have an STD in the past. Like, that shit ain't fun. Like, the shit is real. Like, I don't know why y'all think AIDS ain't real. HIV ain't real. Like, what are you I'm not, doing? I'm not going to assume that you out here have an unprotected sex, which I do know that you can still get something if you cover your, I mean, even I'm just talking about, not even yeah. for her, but for him. Like, People don't think about the fact that he fucking you, he fucking her, who the hell she fucking, you fucking him, who knows who, who he fucking, like, all oh, y'all fucking about 10 people. They go by the confusion. Like, ugh, I personally think, you know, I ain't supposed to be here, I'm a ghost. <laughs> then oh she needs to get her life together. Like, she too focused on dick, and she seems like she ain't got her life together, get over all like, the materialistic too. shit, because that materialistic shit ain't making you happy at the end That's of just day. us in general, like... I so wish that, and this ain't just towards you, this is about a whole lot of people to write in. It's always about stuff. Yeah, like he it's all, it always leads back to stuff. That don't mean that a person care about you just because they bought you But let stuff. me tell y'all something about stuff. Whew. You can have all the shit in the world, but if your soul empty, if you ain't, if your soul is empty, if you're not aligned with yourself, if you don't have no purpose deep within, that shit ain't gonna mean nothing. You're gonna always be searching for something to validate yourself. You're gonna always be searching for something to feel that emptiness inside of you. You gotta get your shit right. Yep. And the fact that you're thinking about fucking with him, still having a fiance, and you excuse and have somebody treating you, the, the lesson in, in this is do unto others as you want them to do unto you and learn your fucking self value. I don't give a fuck if you're sleeping with a uh, a girl, a boy, a old woman. I don't care who it is. You got to learn. Damn, where all this come from? Okay. You got to learn uh, your own value. And if you allowed this man initially to treat you like shit and you kept on giving him a pass, well, I don't see it changing. The next nigga. I, I'm not even talking about the next nigga. I'm talking about him. I've been there. I was with somebody for 11 years straight. And... 
he's a different man now, but unfortunately, it took for me to leave for, you know, for that shit to happen. Um, I will move on. That's just my personal opinion. And if y'all grow apart from each other and y'all can meet some, I, I, I try to promote motherfuckers working their shit out, but like I said, y'all young. And we started off, you know, we started off at 16 years old, so quite naturally, motherfuckers grow apart. We went different directions. Like, it was a lot of living he had to do. It was a lot of living that I had to do. And we couldn't do that shit together and be faithful to one another. What time you going to Oh, it's 20 minutes. I should probably stop yes, yeah. Okay, y'all. Next video. Nah. Uh, <laughs> what happened? Stop, pause. What? Hit the button. Which one? The Hit record? the record button. Go back to okay. the